Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm back with you once more. Um, we have here, for your consideration, a General Electric P975D transistor radio that I have uh, shown previous videos on. Uh, we'll lean it over here a little bit, get some, get some light in it. As you can see, I have the four AA batteries inserted into the battery compartment. The contacts have been cleaned, although they are not pristine. They are cleaned good enough to where they will make contact. Um, I have the antenna off. I'm going to clean that. For the time being, I have a uh, clip lead uh, clipped onto the external antenna lead there. Um, we're going to give this a little go. Uh, I will tell you this is a recreation. I did this in the other room already so I know it works but you know for the uh, YouTube crowd we need something so now yeah, let me see if I can do this with this hand instead there we go close that up turn this puppy around and we'll see if we can turn her on here That's uh, on AM right at the moment. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Yep, you can see that. That switch there is going to need some cleaning. It doesn't. There it goes. Now switch from AM to FM. All the switches I'm going to clean. But I, I like to get something. I know it's going to work before I go with all the trouble of, of cleaning. You know, all the controls and things like that. Cabinet things like that. That's probably the next thing I'll do is clean the cabinet. Alright, let's tune around here a little bit and see what we can come up with. Hard to do this one-handed. Don't have a lot of uh, AM stations to choose from here where I live. That one uh, just was on is the strongest one. Somewhere around the 1500 area. Well, that became a member of LifeLock, the industry leader in identity theft protection. And I'll bet he wishes he did it a That's, lot. That's uh, 84 WAS out of Louisville. Ultimate Plus service, LifeLock provides protection for your identity. That's 700 WLW. Out of Cincinnati. That's static. Probably a light bulb or something. Although I don't have any neat on uh, any uh, fluorescent bulbs in here. Uh, let's switch to FM. See what we get there. Did I make it? No, I didn't make it do it. There we go. Come up with the abbreviated version. You gotta walk in this stuff. <laughs> you gotta. T I do have the AFC switch off. I think it does work though. That sound a little radio. I 
That's a low power station here in Seymour, WHUM. That's uh, the river uh, out of Columbus, Indiana. I don't know what that is. Tell I, I listen to mostly rock stations. So. Anyway, a little bit of a noisiness there on that control. It's not bad though. Uh, again, like I say, first my next plan is to completely remove the chassis and clean up the case. The case is in not that bad a shape. It's got a couple cracks in the leather, plastic, whatever that is. But, you know, it uh, should clean up pretty good. Probably the worst part about it is this face, dial face. It's got a uh, it almost feels like paint on the face of it. I don't know exactly how I'm going to clean that without running the plastic. But I'll try some mild stuff first. Um, see what I can do with that. And then go from there. This uh, little chrome grill, I'm not real sure how to clean that either. Something mild, I'm sure, because I don't think it would take much to uh, completely remove the chrome from it. Um, this is metal, by the way. Uh, the one I had back in the 70s, I'm pretty sure this was all plastic. Um, this one's definitely metal. it got some weight to it. Um, and I don't remember mine having these external antenna connections on there, which is really handy, actually. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same radio, I think. Like I said, it it's not uh, winning awards for the greatest radio ever, but you know it's <laughs> kind of neat to bring something like this back to uh, life and uh, have it actually work. I really I really thought there would be more to it as far as fixing it. It was a lot anticlimactic to uh, fix this, but you know it is what it is. And again, I'm, you know, I still haven't done, I'm not done with it. I, I will get to clean it up and all that stuff. So Once that's done, I'll probably put it all back together and uh, give another demonstration of it. The uh, battery contacts, uh, again, I cleaned using an abrasive wheel on the uh, thermal tool just to make it to where they would work. The CLR I tried uh, had mixed mixed uh, results with it. It really wasn't that great. What I think I'm going to do is take that. Uh, uh, there's a board with the contacts on it that will unscrew, and I'll have to re or unsolder the wires from it. But I think I'm going to fill that up with. Well, not fill it up, but uh, put some CLR in that and let it soak just overnight see what happens you know I don't think it'll hurt the uh, plastic any at all but see if that uh, see if that doesn't do some better and uh, try that and see what happens anyway that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed